Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video on my channel Lockta and in today's video we are here back in Discord and yeah, if you had a troll application or something like that and you don't know who the hell just submitted this application this bot and also this feature I'm gonna show you today will be your friend but first of all, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also leave a like if you don't want to miss any of our videos like that and yeah i think i don't talk let's get right into the video okay so first of all you're gonna head on to the website this uh dino.gg and you're gonna land on this beautiful um yeah website and yeah everything starts here so if you have dino already invited just continue with login with discord but in this case we don't have it so we're just gonna click on add to server and we're gonna select here our server which will be dynaforms test click on next you can leave that all as it's not a rape bot it's 100 percent safe then click on authorize yep i'm a human and now we have to click Bicycles, okay, these are bicycles, beautiful, yeah, another bicycle, okay, um, no, this, not, okay, now, we are now a human, beautiful, and, yeah, so, just scroll down here until you find your server, um, uh, which will be here, Dinoforms, that's beautiful, okay, so, yeah, now, um, we are going to start here and just scroll down um so yeah until you land here um we don't gonna look at here 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 oh something like that um so yeah we gonna look at this thing in forms um i think I don't talk this much and yeah so first of all just click on settings and yeah now as you can see there are no forms and here is create form we're gonna click on create form and yeah now give it a name uh we're gonna call it test and also description which is i think it's optional i don't know but i think it's optional okay so now as you can see you can make questions like that and things like that blah 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 but we are want to save time and we want to make a staff application so we're gonna click on use template staff applications apply template okay as you can see oh that's so cool okay um yeah you can change it by just clicking on the text and yeah, then you can change it okay so i think we're gonna continue we want to know um their age so uh as you can see there's nothing with how old are you just click on add question and just uh say uh how old are you okay then um we gonna click out of here or just click here okay it doesn't care now we have here how old are you but we want that it's the first question i don't know so just click or uh hold on the three dots here and just drag it all the way up okay now as you can see it also changed here and we are fine but yeah we want a multiple choice question so just click on add question and or you subscribe to Luxa. Okay, make sure that this is on yes, everyone. But yeah, so you can write here no, yes or no, but we don't want that. We want a multiple choice. Um, how do you make it? Pretty easy. Just get here on the arrow here, click on it and select multiple choice okay now we can make here yes At, uh, click on a plus and no 
Okay. Now, um, pal and Jeff. There, as you can see, it's here. Um, I think we want now. Are you cool? Okay. Um, now you can also make check boxes, like here. <laughs> Or bellwether. Okay. Now this guy can also click all these things or two or all, only one. The multiple choice they can only select yes or no. And yeah. So if you don't want to, uh, if you don't want him to actually uh, answer it, so it's optional to answer it, just click on required. And yeah, so the box, the red box in here appears disappears and yeah now it's not any longer required and you can uh, leave it blank and up, uh, submit the application if it's required and you, and you leave it black uh, or blank why am I saying black what the hell um you can't submit as it's a required question okay so for example you make not Oh no, I don't want to make this uh, thing. Just make undo. Um, there we go. And yeah, no, this thing is back. Hmm. Okay. So, um, yeah, I think uh, there's everything about the questions and, select, and let's get down there. Now, we have your submission channel. So, this will be the channel where the submitted application by the user will be sent directly into your Discord server. So just click on select channel, you can type here application or just select it, then yeah. Uh, mine will be application submitted, just click on it and it's done. Now submission viewers, so you can view the submission. Um, In this case it will be staff and submission managers also staff okay so what is the difference between submission viewers and submission managers so submission viewers can only view it submission managers can also delete the uh sub the application and yeah now we have here also mute ban appeals um yeah, it's not a mute or ban appeal, uh, so we're just gonna leave that blank and let's get to options. Okay, so you have now here allowed roles, so if you want that only level 5 or higher, you can apply to select level 5. But in this case, everyone can apply. Also, ignored roles if you don't want, like muted can apply, just select muted. Okay, now we can here have members only. I don't... Uh, that are members of the server to fill out. Okay, uh, I didn't even know that, but yeah, of course, members only. Um, so yeah, just um, click that. I mean, it's a pretty cool feature. Didn't know that. Um, yeah. Anyway, so as you can see now, here appears invite link to invite non-member. So we're just gonna get there, get an invite link, uh, pow pow, generate link, pow pow. Okay, so we're just gonna paste it in here and beautiful. Okay, now one submission per user. If you don't want to get spammed or something like that, you can enable it. But if uh, the problem is, if someone accidentally applies and want to apply again because he made a mistake, um, yeah, it's gonna be critical. So we're just gonna leave that blank um, So also you can make an anonymous submission. I don't recommend that if you don't want to get trolled um, And for submission cooldown also leave that blank if you want you can set that up as you want Doesn't really care, but I am gonna leave that blank also um Same reason as in here. Okay now submission options gonna head there Okay, now if someone applied, um, and yeah, you want to make a cool feeling for him, I don't know, and yeah, so we want to 
um, retest application as soon as possible. So we're gonna select the staff role here. Uh, so now the staff role will be mentioned if someone applies. Okay, now also a pretty cool feature to get more organized is to add reaction on it. So just click on add reactions to submission message. message. Okay, now just click on a plus and we're gonna select the tick, the question mark and the cross. Okay, um, now you're done here and just click on. Okay, so if you want now to actually make people to apply, um, yeah, pretty easy. Um, just click on submissions and copy here this link. Just click on here and yeah, now it says copy to clipboard. Yeah, pretty easy. Now just get back here, get into applications or any channel you want and just paste it in and yeah. So as you can see, it pretty looks ugly now. Uh, we're gonna get this thing here and this thing here. Okay, now if we press enter, the embed is gone. Um, yeah. So, basically, if people would now click on this link, they will be sent here and now they will fill out this thing here, blah, 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 yes, of course, I'm subscribed. We're gonna choose this, this two here and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now they will click on submit. And yeah, now thank for submitting. And um, that's everything. Now if you head back, you can see we got pinged here. And here is our application we just sent. So yeah, blah 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 blah. And yeah, you're gonna view submission. Um yeah, looks cool. You can block user. If it wasn't um, a troll, for example, you can block this user. And yeah, also it's this idea and things like that. And yeah. Now, uh, we say, yeah, this guy's cool. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Yeah, he got accepted. I don't know. Uh, no, he got re rejected. Okay. So I think um, that's okay. We, you can leave it like that, and we can also add another feature. Um, but yeah. So if you want now, where the hell is it here? Uh, here now. Okay. So you also want an appeal. So yeah, just create a new form. Um, appeal, test, doesn't care, and yeah, now, click on view template, appeals, apply template. Okay, now, again, submission channel, blah, 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 uh, yeah, when, uh, submission, if you want, like, they can only do it, like, three days. Just do it here, but yeah, we don't gonna do that. One submission per user and staff at reactions. Bum, bum, and bum. Okay, save. And yeah, now it asks you interest in built in appeals. I'm gonna click on take me there and enable it. Okay, now appeal form, which will be appeal and allow appeals for banned users and muted users. Okay, waiting period days. So if you want like ban people can only uh, appeal like after three days, you can do that. And yeah, if not, not. Okay, DM user on approval, approval and rejection um i'm gonna do that because yeah <laughs> i don't know okay now we're gonna get there get our link again doesn't care i recommend you and a never ending and infinite link 
and yeah, click on update, and there we go. We have now our um beautiful appeal now. Okay. Um. So it doesn't save. What the hell? Ba ba bum and pow. Update. Okay. Now we will get to forms and yeah now if a guy gets banned he will be the end with uh blah blah, blah and you can also appeal here so yeah um i think that's everything about it and see you in the next video and yeah see you soon i'm safe